yeah, today's webinar is going to be on robotic dispensing systems. Um, and we're going to explore what they are and how they're used, uh, some types of robotic dispensing systems, and some types of robotic, what, what, what they do, I guess, and how they can improve efficiency in healthcare. <clears throat> So what are robotic dispensing systems? Robotic dispensing systems are a drug distribution system that automates the storage, dispensing, return, restocking, and crediting of unit dose barcoded patient medicine. Um, they provide computer controlled storage, dispensing, and tracking of medications. So for example, um, if you have one of them, they might at a specified time, like give you a dose of medicine and then you could set that and then it would just do that for you. Mm. Each method can rely on a specific technological medication management solution to ensure that the patient receives the correct medication. So how are they used? Um, robotic dispensing systems are used for the following. Medication dispensing, administration and management, supply distribution and management, um, lab supplies usually, um, anesthesia carts, health and data analysis, analytics. Types of robotic dispensing systems. Um, there are automated dispensing systems which provide security, accessibility and inventory control of medications. Um, and we're going to be discussing four major ones today, which are MedBank, MediMat, AccuDose RX, and RX Station. Um, so robotic dispensing system number one, BD Pixis MedBank. Uh, so this was developed by Pixis Corp, uh, which is a market leader for automated medication management. It offers reports on inventory, and billing process, um, and it supports medication inventory management. It provides near real-time control of supplies and medications, and it offers secure automated dispensing and document usage in real time. Uh, moving on, MediMat. So this was developed by OmniCell, and MediMat serves as a storage warehouse and dispensing unit and it includes a semi-automated filing system, filling system, sorry. It uses chaotic filling system to optimize use of space, um, has quick and simple inventory replenishment. It allows simultaneous loading and dispensing. And you can choose the length and height that would meet, uh, meet your needs. Um, next is AccuDose RX which is also owned by OmniCell, um, and it automatically tracks and sends real-time usage data. So this allows pharmacies to monitor the most important safety, security, and inventory factors of medication. Um, AccuDose RX features the right stock system, which is an uh, intelligent feature set that automatically optimizes cabinet inventory and reduces costly expired medications and stockouts. Um, it's the most flexible and easy to learn cabinet on the market. Um, and then we have Cerner RX Station. So this is the RX Station developed by you know, Cerner and it helps pharmacists and nurses more safely and efficiently manage medication dispensing and administration. Um, it has the following features. Um, accurate dosing and real-time clinical checks that may help reduce medication errors and improve clinical outcomes. Um, it also provides patients with contextual alerts based on clinical data. Um, so type of dispensing robotic systems do. Uh, chaotic versus channel-fed dispensing. So robotic dispensing systems tend to either employ chaotic or channel-fed dispensing systems. Uh, in chaotic storage, the robot takes a pack and puts it on the shelves, 
and only the robot would know where the pack has gone, um, it'd be kind of hard for you to figure it out, you know, as you can see on the right. And, and uh, yeah, it does this for space efficiency, tessellating packs together on a shelf to fit the most packs inside that it possibly can. Um, hospitals love this because they can have thousands of drugs on register uh, and it takes up less space. Um, channel fit dispensing, on the other hand, involves storing drugs in individual metal or plastic channels. Each is dedicated to just one drug type, um, so it makes it look really organized. And channel fed dispensing allows for much faster picking speeds compared to chaotic storage, um, taking around four seconds to, sp to dispense a single pack. Uh, so how these improve efficiency in healthcare? Uh, it frees pharmacists from the labor intensive distributive functions, enhancing both patient care um, from pharmacists and nurses. And it also improves accountability and storage of medications. Um, it improves the accuracy and timeliness of medication product availability. Um, it reduces drug errors, increases safety, and also helps to avoid delays in supplies and stock shortages. Yeah, thank you for listening. Um, if you'd like to learn this lesson with a Cyber Seniors mentor again, you can go to the website um, cyberseniors.org or you can call the number on the screen to register for a one-on-one -on -one phone session. Um, and we also hold weekly tech drop-in sessions from 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern time zone on Thursdays if that's what you're more interested in. And yeah.